Hey guys, it's the basic Sorgonomics for this June 12th, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg. We're talking about teaching. Teaching. And I have some ideas about that. Check us out at Sorgatron.com where you can sign up and get our newsletter every week. And so much more, and uh, just uh, this blog and a little bit behind the scenes, my thoughts, my 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 encounters and such, uh, whatever we run into in the world of social media, video production, etc. And uh, I have, like I said, I had a, I had a bit of an idea today. Uh, something that's been on my mind for a little bit is teaching. I've had a lot of great opportunities over the last few years uh, to do teaching. And I keep going back to that old idea uh, I always hear of those that can't teach, um, those that can't, comma, teach, <laughs> those that have not made it in the world of their profession, I guess you could say. Um, and I guess I'm kind of looking to counter that a little bit, at least with me. Um, I mean, I, I, think, I think in a lot of ways, it depends on what you're into. For me, uh, for doing the social media, especially, I think the the, the teaching is a part of uh, is is a part of um, the learning process for yourself as a practitioner, right? Uh, for me, I feel like when I get to get up, go out and teach, I get to see how other people look at problems. Kind of a user testing, I guess it is, right? Uh, I don't know how many times. I, if, okay, so let, let's boil this down. So, what have I taught? Uh, I had a little bit of a stint, of course, um, over with uh, uh, the Pittsburgh Technical Institute, doing web design and uh, 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 teaching, and and a little bit of uh, flash anim animation, a little bit. I mean, all stuff there in my wheelhouse, somewhat. Not that there are things that I am strongly developed in, right? But I, I mean, I know the basics enough to kind of get people started. But mainly with the social media, mainly with the podcasting, I've had a lot of opportunities I've, I've taught every year in the now going into the 10th year of the uh, of PodCamp Pittsburgh. I've had lots of opportunities to teach in, at the Carnegie Library, uh, including a recent stint where we taught uh, YouTube and then a, a, a batch with uh, Instagram along with uh, uh, Snapchat and Pinterest. So and 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 those really kind of opened my mind to okay, what do I know about this? Can I convey it? And what don't I know about this? I mean, it really showed that I am weak in Pinterest. I kind of uh, uh, laid heavy on the Instagram and the Snapchat because that's what I was familiar with. But certainly, Pinterest is not what I'm strong with. Certainly not. And uh, people asking questions and 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 sometimes it, this happens. And I don't I don't I try not to feel bad when this does happen. When somebody asks a question, I'm not the person that knows it, but somebody else in the room does. Uh, especially when it comes to things like social media, um, I always love the one on one classes at PodCamp uh, because it seems like even the you know the person teaching doesn't always hasn't always used Twitter or Facebook or whatever the the application may be. Um, every way you could think of, and multiple people use things multiple ways. We, I mean, just talking about recently, this new uh, application has come out called Clamor. Now I'm using it as a promotional tool. I'm taking clips from the podcasts I do. I'll take a clip from this podcast, uh, make an 18 second version of it, and put it in Clamor. But I'm also putting that 18 second clip and and, and actually knock it down to 15 seconds, putting on Instagram, putting on purely in Twitter, for instance. Um, Versus having a conversation on a uh, a Pittsburgh blogging group, uh, Elsie Escobar over there at Lipson was talking about how she was doing original content on it and feels and, and I agree I think that's the stronger use of it. It just doesn't work with my needs to develop more content on top of that when I'm trying to <laughs> get this content out. You know, uh, but I, I think that's really interesting. I think I think um, that's the kind of thing you get when I'm like, well, I use my page to talk with my fans this way. I use my Facebook page of talking to my fans this way. I'm like, oh, I didn't think about that. Maybe you integrate. That's why I always love PodCamp Pittsburgh in general because, or any of these conferences, any of these get-togethers, because you get to hear, how are you using podcasting? What are you using to get the best quality and the most out of this technology with, with, with little money, which is the basic thing? How are you blogging differently than I am? And how is that working for you versus how it's working for me? And when you're teaching, I think, uh, again, you're kind of making sure you can convey. I, I'm very, if you haven't figured it out by now, I guess I'm, 
yeah, yes, this is is partially to promote me. Well, for, actually, initially, this was started just for my own mental health. But uh, uh, yes, this is like a partial like promotion in here, and this is me and my thoughts and everything. But uh, I, I really, as far as social media goes, um, I have more altruistic uh, 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 desires, I guess, uh, if that's the right word use there. But uh, you know, I think I think uh, you should. You know, te teach, teach. What's was it? Teach a horse how to fish. What, what's what's the what's the what's how's that go? Uh, but no, I think I think initially, I should be able to teach anybody how to use social media, and anybody with enough effort can use this stuff effectively for whatever their needs may be. I think this should be a cheap solution, a community building solution. That's all on the person too. And that's all with the understanding, of course, that some people will say, that sounds like a really good idea. I want to be a part of that. I don't have the time for it. Here, take care of it for me. And that's where I hope to bring clients in. I mean, that's, that's I just laid out my business plan, <laughs> at least partially. And it's worked pretty well so far um, with a few clients here and there. So, uh, but, but generally, I, 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 but generally, it, 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 it helps. In that it helps in, um, you know, I, I guess the most dangerous thing is um, not knowing what you don't know. But for me, I'm realizing I don't know a lot of things. That's why I'm really, really tread lightly on calling myself a social media expert. You know, um, but uh, I, I will not put that on my card. I will not put that on my, on my Twitter description. Um, but it's. Yes, I did lose my train of thought a little bit like reading the Periscope, so thank you <laughs> out there. <laughs> no, no, actually, this is a very uh, uh, formulated, uh, th this is, this is the ideas are forming in my head, and I'm very much kind of putting them out there, and that's usually the format of the show for, thank you for whoever asked that in Periscope, but uh, uh, but it is weird, it is weird to to not have co-hosts, and I'm looking at Periscope and, and, and trying to make sure I'm addressing those people live here. And trying to formulate some words here. But anyways. Uh, what was the last thing we're talking about there? Oh, experts. Um, no, I, I'm always weary on that. I understand. Um, and, and that's where, and I've said this on the show before. Uh, when I was first considering uh, going to the first podcast to talk about podcasting and what we were doing in the whole six months we were doing it at the time. Uh, somebody, Justin Kanaki, said to me, well, you always know something a little more than somebody else so go talk about what you know and sometimes you go and find out there's somebody in there that knows a bit more about something than you do and you get to learn from them you know you don't have to be the smartest person in the room one to give a presentation um and two just to just to, to teach and talk about a thing and and that's the other thing too i hate pre preparation as you can tell by this podcast um but i kind of want to become the person that's stronger and can just walk out there and riff a thing um, I, I've done that a few times. I actually put together a presentation and outlines for some of the library stuff, but generally I, I like the idea of, uh, there's a, uh, there's a Gary Vaynerchuk thing. I know I bring his name up a lot, but it, somebody asked how much time does he spend on a keynote? And he's like the, the five minutes before, <laughs> but you can tell it's a lot of the same things and the, the stuff is so ingrained in his head. And I think if you are into something so much and you're passionate about something, and somebody says, hey, can you talk with us for an hour about X, Y, and Z? You'll be able to just go out there and talk to them for an hour on X, Y, and Z if that's the thing, if that is the thing. If you're really an expert in that thing, that's a that's something you can do as long as you're past all the stage fright, et cetera, et cetera. But I beat that long ago. I'm not afraid to get in front of people. I'm afraid afterwards if I sound like an idiot. But I just do that daily on a podcast, so whatever. Let us know what you think about Whatever the heck I was talking about today, joining us on Periscope, etc. Uh, Sorgatron.com, at Sorgatron on the Twitters. Please comment if you find this on the blog or on Facebook or YouTube videos or whatever, wherever else this may crop up. Because I know videos kind of get a little bit everywhere out there. Uh, subscribe the audio. Subscribe the audio on uh, iTunes, uh, Spreaker, Stitcher, and wherever else you can find podcasts. Please subscribe and uh, comment on iTunes regardless so people can find us, please. So with that, I'm Mike Sorg. Uh, you guys have a good day and a good weekend.
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.